hey 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 welcome back to my channel so today as you can see we are going to be making some fried meat pies you can also call them fried dumplings so without wasting time let's just get started we are going to be using some flour i've got here my all-purpose flour this is about 250 grams i'll drop in a pinch of salt to taste i'll grate in some nutmeg i'll give it a little mix i'll break in an egg I'll come in with about 50 grams of melted butter. With the help of my ladle, I'll mix everything up. I'll come in with a little bit of cold water and start forming the dough with my hands. I say you don't have to over mix it. So after mixing it very well, this is what we have here. Cover it up and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Whilst it's in the fridge, let's make our filling. I'll get a pan and come in with some oil. I'll drop in some chopped garlic and let this fry for about 30 seconds. Afterwards, I will come in with my minced meat. Next, I'll drop in some chopped onions. I'll come in with my favorite seasoning, dark soy sauce, some black pepper, some salt to taste. I will cover this up and let it cook. Basically, I'm going to be stir frying on medium fire. This needs about 20 minutes to cook. So it's been after about 25 minutes, it is ready. I'll just put off the fire and set it aside for later. Now I'm going to be using this two piece dumpling cutter. I have the link in the description box and I've also pinned it to the very first comments. If you're interested, you can check it out. You can get this from Amazon. Basically, this is the first part. This is used for, you know, shipping and making the dumpling. And this is what we use to cut the dough. So it's been after about 30 minutes and my dough is ready. So I'll just go ahead and, you know, roll it. Since we are going to be using it for meat pie, I must say you shouldn't make it too thin. So after rolling, this is what we have here. Come in with the cutter and just roll it over. We just cut them into little cute circles. This instrument is so handy and it makes the work so easy. So after cutting everything up, here we are. Now I'll get the dumpling making tool and I'll put my dough on it. I'll come in with a little bit of my filling. Then I'll simply just close it up. And here we are, as easy as ABC. It's so cute. So I'll just go ahead and finish up my dough. You can also form round pies if you have two of this instrument. Now, I'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil. Don't forget, we're going to be deep frying, so you should use, you know, more oil. When the oil is hot enough, I'll drop in my meat pies. So basically, we're just frying this to cook the dough because the filling is already cooked. This will take roughly about four to five minutes. So as you can see, it is golden brown and I think it's ready. So I'll just get it out of the hot oil. Then I'll come in with the remaining. So it is ready now and as you can see it's so crunchy. I must tell you this is so delicious. 
you can keep them in the fridge for up to three days. If you want to eat them, you just heat it up in the microwave. So this is it ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope I did help you. If you give it a try, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first person to see it. And if you want to get these instruments, just check out my description box or the first comments. Just click on the link and it will take you straight to the Amazon shop. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.